monocot stem dracaena dracaena can be considered as a typical example of anomalous secondary growth in monocots its young stem has a typical monocot structure with outer epidermis sclerenchymatous hypodermis and large number of closed collateral vascular bundles embedded in the parenchymatous ground tissue secondary growth is initiated by the formation of a special meristematic sort which develops in the inner cortical region the cortical cells lying external to the vascular bundle develop to a multilayered cambium the cambium behaves abnormally it cuts off a few cells on the outer side and a large number of cells towards the inner side the cells cut off towards outer side are parenchymatous and the cells cut off towards inner side are partially parenchymatous and partially vascular in nature the parenchyma cells on the inner side get lignified in those cell walls and form the conjunctive tissue in the formation of secondary vascular bundle usually the cells from one or all the layers of cambium participate In most cases secondary vascular bundle develops from a single cell cut off by the cambial initiation. This cell functions as the vascular bundle initiation. It divides twice and clinal to form a row of two or three cells. These cells further undergo periclinal division to form peripheral cells. The centrally situated cells of this group transform phloem cells and the peripheral cells differentiate into xylem elements. Such a type of vascular bundles in which phloem cells surrounded by xylem elements are known as amphivascular vascular bundle. The cambium then cuts off parenchyma cells on the inner side pushing the newly formed vascular bundle towards the central region. After some time cambium again behaves abnormally and the position of vascular bundle changes. The cambial initial which is destined to form the vascular bundle now forms vascular elements in the region where distinct parenchyma is to be formed. As a result the second row of vascular bundle is formed alternating in position with the first row. Similarly the activity and the position of vascular bundles keep on changing with the result that of vascular bundles are arranged in concentric rings vascular bundles of the last ring are embedded in a mass of lignified conjunctive tissue core cambium may develop normally and form cork cells on the outer side 